When I heard about Leavenworth Mayor Carl Floria's decision to close the downtown core to traffic and parking, I decided to head down there on Thursday and check it out for myself. Was it going to be flooded with tourists coming in for an early weekend? No masks to be seen? Well, when I arrived, signs were being set out for an early closure, and though parking lots were full, I didn't really see any traffic, especially not a bunch of tourists flooding the area and shopping. So I had questions. I decided to speak with some local business owners in the area, and though some had their doors shut and have been out of business for a while, some are able to do a little bit of curbside and have adjusted their practices and their operations a little bit. Come in the store, we're considered essential for our pets. Um, we're open at 10 to 6 every single day. If you're not comfortable with coming in, you can call me with your order and we can meet you out the curb, take your credit card over the phone. And we're also reaching out to all our customers during this time that maybe haven't wanted to shop because we're a busy tourist town. There's nowhere to park, they can't find parking, they've been going on Chewy. And so then I can reach out to you and say, hey, I can price match, I can beat any of my competitors, I honor and value your business, I'll do what it takes, and I'll deliver it to your house. So we've been going all around Leavenworth, we've been going up to Plain, reaching out to those customers, out Lake Wenatchee, um, going down the valley to Kashmir, and just overwhelming support of people that wanted to shop small. Hey guys, this is Finn with the Cheesemonger Shop. I'm sure you've uh, been impacted in some way by this pandemic, but if you're still hungry for cheese and ready to party with Havarti, you can still get your cheese right behind this great plexiglass uh, shield that we have for you. So stay healthy, stay hungry, and come see us. For the cheesemonger, they won't be able to pull their coolers upstairs and utilize the outdoor space proposed by the mayor, but they will still be offering tastings and samplings. And those with smaller overhead or easy package to go items are offering shipping. And people love them. Little people love the cars. They want to crawl under the table and come shopping. <laughs> it's like, mommy, let me in. But um, yeah, we're here and selling and we're here for everyone. And it's beautiful weather, so Leavenworth's open. Leavenworth's We're open, here. so come see us come here see at us. the Hat Shop. They're taking pre-orders. Mm -hmm. Happy to help you out. Hatshopwoodshop.com. Hatshopwoodshop.com. Mm -hmm. Coffee shops, outdoor ice cream kiosks, and other mobile vendor booths seem to be the most popular options, and they've set up safe ways to pay as well as little signs to remind customers not to reach in the window. Leavenworth is uh, here and doing the limited, limited access. A uh, few of us have curbside ability to sell. A lot of the restaurants are doing online sales and then they deliver to the curb. We're doing about the same thing. And we're currently finding that it's a lot of our wine club members that are coming and participating. And then a lot of our community has come out to make sure that somebody is spending money in our shops here in town as much as they can. And we uh, are definitely being kept open by our, our community members. Sharp was careful to point out he couldn't speak on behalf of other wineries. It will be interesting to see what the future holds for Leavenworth, especially as we continue to see downtown Front Street closures. And not everyone is happy about it, including sweet Tristan here, a rescue pit bull. Hi, this is Dana at the Personalized Shop here in Leavenworth, and we have the kitchen shop too. But since the kitchen shop is closed, the Personalized Shop, we can ship. We have an Etsy store and we are on Amazon Handmade and we can do your graduation presents, Father's Day is coming up, Grandparents Day is coming up, birthdays, just give something to your best friend who you haven't seen in two months just to let them know that you're thinking about them. Just go on to Etsy, it's the Personalized Shop WA and order up whatever you like or you know, give us a call here at the shop. 509-888-2796 and we can ship it out for you. And so we're gonna come see you at the Gingerbread Factory. You are open and shipping everywhere and opening Andreas Keller and Mozart soon. Yes, hopefully <laughs> we can um, continually post updates on our website and on our Facebook page so people can see our progress. We've got the Gingerbread Factory open today. Just started up again with our curbside um, or pickup. Well, I do expect there to be more traffic this weekend, but we are certainly not seeing the amount of foot traffic that we would normally see at this time of year. And I don't think having the streets closed here 
uh, is helping that situation. But um, it is what it is. I don't see that we can open up this weekend uh, with Mozart's or Andreas Keller restaurant simply because we are tourist-based businesses and at this point I don't see enough tourists in town to support our being open, although we are preparing to open as soon as possible. Hi, my name is Monica. I am co-owner of the Post Office Saloon in Leavenworth, and we are also opening up the old pitching post, which will be the outpost in Kashmir. We are open in Leavenworth. Our mayor is trying to shut down our curbside, and that's supposedly happening tomorrow. We are open for our to-go drinks and mason jars. We have fabulous burgers. Soon, hopefully the beginning of June, we'll be open, probably a little later into June, at the Hitching Post, Outpost. Really looking forward to that. Looking forward to going half capacity. We really would love to have our local support. It'd be great. And we have many employees inside painting and cleaning and making sure that everything is ready when that time comes. Whether you're stopping by town just for the day like myself, or if you're a local picking up an extra bottle of wine or dog food, keep making your voice heard and supporting your neighbor during these times.